The other night, I was thinking about the end of the movie Titanic. I even tweeted about it, so as you can see, I had true questions in my heart. You remember the ending. The very old version of Rose wakes up in the middle of the night and tosses her great-grandchildren's college tuition over the side of the ship. Then she comes back to her room on the research ship and dies warm and safe in her bed. Her mind is drifting back through the debris until she rejoins the still young and hot version of Jack. When I saw this as a 13-year-old, I was bawling. But now, as a death-focused adult, my first thought is, what about Rose's corpse? When Bill Paxton, Pullman? Paxton, Paxton, finds Rose dead in the morning, did they have the proper facilities to handle her body in the middle of the ocean? Did they have a body compartment like some airplanes have? Appropriate cold storage, an onboard morgue, an extra floating door lying around? Or could they have buried Rose at sea? For that matter, can you be buried at sea? Almost anybody can be buried at sea as long as you follow some rules. I mean, obviously you can't just go dump your grandma's body off the Santa Monica Pier and call it a burial at sea. Don't do that. In the United States, the Environmental Protection Agency under the Marine Protection Research and Sanctuaries Act, or MPRSA, has the general permit to authorize the burial of human remains at sea. In the UK, it's the Marine Management Organization, but the rules are pretty similar. Everyone knows about cremating remains and then scattering the ashes at sea. That's the easy one. But less seems to be known about burying the whole entire body in the sea. If you want to bury a whole body or just limbs, that's allowed too. At sea, it or they must be disposed of at least three nautical miles from land and dropped to a depth of at least 600 feet. That's like a hundred fathoms, am I right? Realistically, off some coasts, to get that depth, you actually have to go out to sea pretty far, like 50 miles. And some places require a depth three times that, at least 1,800 feet. The body, or body parts, are buried at sea in a casket or simply shrouded. They have to be free of medical waste, and they strongly prefer the body not be embalmed. It's cool, it's kind of like a natural burial, unembalmed, shrouded bodies, except in the sea, not the dirt. A shrouded corpse can be wrapped in natural fibers or a sail and then weighted with something like chains so it sinks down like the heart of the ocean that she threw over the side of it. She could have opened an orphanage. If a casket is used, all plastic must be removed. If it's metal, it must be non-corrosive and it must be weighted and chained or banded shut to ensure that the body doesn't free itself, which has happened. Many companies that facilitate burials at sea will offer special environmentally friendly caskets that will sink, degrade efficiently, and not last long enough to be dredged up later, which has also happened. A casket for sea burial must also have 20 holes drilled into it, eight on the top, eight on the bottom, and two at the head and foot. Adding sand or concrete to the casket is recommended. They really are sticklers for just human remains in a sea burial. No plastic flowers or wreaths or tombstones or monuments or artificial reefs. None of that. Notice I said human remains. The MPRSA does not allow the burial of pet remains at sea. And you can't legally mix your pet's ashes with yours and scatter them at sea either because I don't know why. You probably can. There are companies in the US and UK, like New England Burials at Sea, that specifically handle sea burials. It seems like they work with you and a funeral director and take your whole family out on the boat with little box lunches for a little over $10,000. The old splash for cash. They don't call it that, obviously. If you were in the Navy, they'll do this for free. But you have to use the big coffin, it's 100% on their schedule, and your family can't come. You know that I love a good DIY death project, but hiring someone to help you with this might be the right choice, because stuff can go wrong. In 2010, South Florida's Sun Sentinel ran the headline, Burial at Sea Fails When Body Surfaces. 
When Daniel Lasky of North Carolina died, his family intended to honor his love of the ocean by giving him a burial at sea. His wife, Sharon, followed all the proper protocols, getting a death certificate, a permit to transport her husband's body across state lines. She even consulted with a company in North Carolina that handles burials at sea. They didn't handle this burial, but they gave her advice. Things seemed to be all well and good. Sharon, Daniel's body, the Lasky family, a pastor, and the subcontracted fishing boat captain and crew met in Fort Lauderdale and headed four miles offshore for Daniel's burial. They buried Daniel's body at sea and then fished for a while at his final resting place. Everything went according to plan until it didn't. The next day, around 9.30 a.m., Daniel Lasky resurfaced. While his body had been weighted, its wrappings had come undone, freeing Daniel's corpse. What followed was a brief homicide investigation until Daniel's obituary was found. Instead of resting peacefully at the bottom of the ocean, Daniel's body rested at the medical examiner's office of Broward County until the family could take action. To be clear, no judgment on the Lasky family. They probably did everything they were instructed to do. But Daniel Lasky's botched burial, an undoubtedly upsetting experience for his family, demonstrates how a burial at sea may sound simple and easy, even romantic, but in actuality requires some ocean corpse know-how. Those corpses are buoyant little suckers. They'll float to the surface if not properly secured. So, deathlings, if the sea is your oyster, you can spend eternity in that oyster. I don't like whales or underwater caves, or deep endless oceans, so this is not for me, but I know a lot of people who like it. Are you into this, or do you have an unusual way you would like to be buried? Want to know if you can do it? Ask us in the comments and maybe we'll try to give you an answer. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you. The sea is the largest cemetery, and its slumbers sleep without a monument.